shoulder hasn't been sore since we started working at all. Like what what coach is saying to me is like I, I believe that to my core. I felt something new there because I had to give no effort for the arm, like at all. So again, like coach is, you know, he's 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 speaking my language here. If this was your best throw of the whole day. What do you think it was that you did differently on this throw as a, as opposed to other ones? That I really want you to to take home with you. Oh, my base, like I just noticed that right away. It's like my feet didn't get really close together at the top of my drop. The base was good. I, I want you to recognize how good your shoulder closure was on the same side, right? When we talk about throwing to the same side, we have to think in our minds that we have to extra keep that shoulder closed because we're so open already to it that we got to keep more closed so we can get the rotation to be more accurate. So the thing that you did really well is that you were even more close. You see how you even more close? And how it doesn't, it looks like you're throwing it outside. You see what I'm saying? The angle looks like you're throwing it outside as opposed to you being more open and, and in line with him. You're aimed outside with your feet, your shoulders closed and you're throwing the same side. And that looks beautiful because look where the ball finishes. Outside shoulder. That's what I want, yeah. That's what you want, right? And I just want you to, oh, let's go through the first one. We're going to save this one, and we're going to go to the first one just to show you the difference one more time. Now, you see your shoulders here, right? Yeah, they're much more open. And look where the ball was. Inside. Inside. Look where you finish here. And look at the shoulders. And look at the feet. And look at the – you don't even look in line with the receiver, do you? But you're more rotated, right? You got that head in the right place. Perfect ball place on the outside, right? One more time. Not enough. Enough. Not enough. Enough. <laughs> You see, you, see, you see it? It's not it's not closed enough. So usually you probably gotta get more speed to get back. Third cone. Huh? That one I might as well be throwing it like the third cone. Yeah, you might as well be throwing it this one. So now you know I gotta get even more inside. Cause look at this. Look at that. You do that. And now it's and now you're perfect. All from just close to the shoulder more. I think, I think that's what we were talking about earlier. How I really need to be aiming where I want to throw it each time. Not like aiming so much like they talk about like don't try to guide the ball, just throw it. But like Bro, looking to where. Open. Obviously, I don't want it to go to the inside because, like you said, I'm gonna have to tackle some dude running down the sideline <laughs> to the outside so you can turn up and get some more yards. And then if the receiver doesn't get there, okay, second down. Yeah. We can we can move on. You didn't get it. You didn't. Well, you wasn't there. But at least you don't have to tackle nobody. We we don't want you playing two sides of the football. We want you staying on one side. Once again, difference between a pick. Here's a pick. That's not a pick. And it's that that little difference. Makes sense. Exactly. It's obvious. Like. So keep that visual in your mind when you're throwing the same side to be more a little more close than you usually would, and you can be on your way, brother.